Hey, Aries. Hey, baby. How you doing? I'm good. How's life treating you? Uh, it's it's a go. It's a back and forth. A back and forth, but you're making it. You're here with me. It's gonna be a good weekend. Yeah, this is the, this is the good part of the relationship. Yes, Kansas City barbecue and talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> So you're coming to Kansas City, the improv this weekend. You'll be here Friday and Saturday, two shows each night. So get your tickets, improvkc.com. So Aries, what's new with you? I know, you know, I'm a forever proud family fan. So I know that you guys came back on Disney Plus with the proud family. Um, yeah, with Kelly, y'all. Was it Kelly, y'all? So <laughs> what else is new in your world? Uh, you know, I'm waiting on these... Uh... I did a thing uh, for CNN, which I think is going to drop in August. Uh, you know, these, every now and then CNN will do these kind of like breakdowns of like shows from the 80s, uh, you know, these little things about entertainment, cinema. Uh, so I'm one of many celebrity guests who are talking about black television in the 80s and 90s. Okay, so for you, what show in the 80s, black shows, made the most impact in your life? Oh, uh, you know, uh, Jefferson's, of course, um, even though it wasn't really a Black show, uh, I have to say All in the Family, because they would often have, you know, either uh, Esther Rowe, uh on there or Sherman Hemsley himself with that relationship. Back when TV used to spawn off of each other. Mm -hmm. um, so the 80s was just a, a more impactful, honest time. Uh, before all the political correctness and wokeness. I think it was between the 80s and the 90s was probably the last great era of truth television uh, until the emergence of shows like, you know, The Wire and, you know, certain shows on HBO. Mm -hmm. So for the 80s, those shows are obviously iconic. Are there any shows now that are on your radar that you're impressed that they're not following the mold of being politically correct or are they all being politically correct nowadays? Um, no, I think the shows that, that I, I'm mainly like, I, I like uh, one camera uh, kind of like on location action shows. Like, you know, like I'm a big fan of a uh, mayor of Kingstown, you know, uh, a lot of the shows that have come on HBO, like, you know, The Sopranos, uh, Power on Stars. Uh, God, I'm drawing a blank. Bre Breaking Bad. Uh, I like gritty one-hour camera shows. I see. And violent shows, too. Or at least shows with crime and violence. That's your type of... You know, I call that man food. You know, that's, that's yeah. man food. <laughs> My dad only watches shows with murders. And I'm like, are you plotting to murder me and mommy one day? <laughs> <laughs> But that's your type of thing. Nothing wrong with that. So you said that a lot of shows nowadays have a lot of politically correctness, and we all know that. Um, so for you, um, with just being in the entertainment industry and things that don't have to follow that mold, do you think that more people, do you think like with network, non-network shows like Netflix and um, the streaming services, do you feel like people are more comfortable to create things that are not as politically correct? Do you feel like that gives I guess creatives more range to do what they want to do, or do you think it's still the same guidelines? Um, I think it's a small amount of still the same guidelines, but at the same time, I think that it does open the door, uh, create creative wise, uh, the license to just be more out there. You know, one of my other favorite shows is Ozark uh, with Justin Bateman, you know, and, and I, you know, whether it's shows like Ozark, and I'm still crazy because I have I have a, a list of what I really like, but I'm throwing a blank. But shows like that that just really allow you creatively to to go in different places. But there's always going to be still technical TV guidelines mm -hmm. that I think sometimes you have to follow. But the best stuff is when you throw the rules out the window. Okay. Now throwing the rules out the window, you have your own podcast. Do you feel Spears and Steinberg got to plug that? Make sure yeah. you guys subscribe. Um, do you feel like in the podcast realm that you're more free to say what you want to say, or do you feel like there's still that backlash? Uh, I, you know, there's always the threat of backlash, but I, I've never been one to let that threaten me. Because uh, listen, I've already taken my knocks based on what who people think I am or what they think I am. So at this point, I you know I'm 
playing with nothing to lose, really. Uh, and, and, you know, I'm, I'm, I always tell people I was born in 75, grew up in the 80s. I'm 80s baby. So I come from that last generation of truth tellers, old school. You know, I, I can't do this Similac milk. I, I drink from the tap. <laughs> tap water unfiltered, right? Tap milk unfiltered. Tap here, milk unfiltered. <laughs> he ain't lactose intolerant. There you go. All right, so we got the podcast, Spears and Stein, Spears Stein, it's Spears Steinberg Pod, if you want to follow it on all the social media handles. Well, actually, it's, it's Spearsberg Pod. Spearsberg Pod, okay, I just didn't right. read the writing correct. I guess. YouTube, on, on Instagram, Twitter, uh, it's Spearsberg Pod, but the, the name is Spears and Steinberg. Spears and Steinberg. Now, I was doing a little bit of Googling, am I correct that you have your own app? I'm working on it. I'm, I'm, it's been a long thing in, in the works. Uh, I, I, it's a movie trivia game app uh, that I'm trying to do. something? Uh, Aries Spears Movie Madness is what it's called. Okay. So I'm assuming you're a really big movie person. What's your favorite movie of all time? That's hard. Okay. They, they, you know what? You can't ever have a favorite movie of all time. I, I, you know, anything Denzel, I rock with. But anything, any of the icons, Al Pacino, De Niro, Nicholson, uh, you know, I'm just a movie, I'm a movie connoisseur. Okay, so you've been in a few movies. Who would be the ultimate person for you to be in a movie with? Denzel. 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 Okay. I know you I, can... I, 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 comedically, it would be Eddie Murphy. Okay. But dramatically, it would be Denzel. Okay. Now, yeah, because Denzel, to me, Denzel does the drama what Eddie does the comedy. Okay, so I, I know that a lot of your um, roles that you've been in are more comedic films. Are you wanting to go the route of like the serious crime, the, the type of TV shows that you're into? Would you want to do that type of role or would you want to stick to what you're comfortable with? No, I, I think you have to do both. I think you have to do what you're comfortable with, but you also have to test yourself by being uncomfortable. You know, if I was to use a football analogy, I would say the best quarterback, you know, you want to be Michael Vick. You want to be able to play in the pocket, but you want to be able to scramble and run if you have to, too. You know, really unstoppable. Right. So we might see an Oscar or like an Emmy knocking on your door. From your lips to God's ears. We're speaking into existence. I've been on, I've been on hold since forever. So if you if you if you uh, get through God before I do, tell them click over. I'm on the other line. There and you know what? If we do a if they do a biopic and they want you to play somebody, you already got the voice down, right? Because you can do the impressions. Yeah, I guess it depends on who it is. Okay. Now with your impressions, um, who was somebody that you were surprised that they saw an impression that you've done and did they like it? Uh. <clears throat> I don't know if, you know, I don't know if anybody was surprised. I mean, you know, like the saying goes, imitation is the greatest form of flattery. Everybody has been pretty much flattered. Uh, so th the surprise probably is more for me than it is for them, especially when I end up doing somebody that I didn't do, uh, that, you know, I ended up doing it, which was a surprise to me. Okay, so you want to say a name? Uh, again, my, one of my favorite shows, probably my favorite show of all time, is uh, Sopranos. Okay. Uh, James Gandolfini uh, as Tony Soprano. Everybody's going to go down to the bottom bang. All the guys are going to be there. <laughs> Silvio, Christopher, you know, I mean, uh, Uncle Judah and Johnny Shaq. It's the place to be for business. It's where we <laughs> conduct business. Yeah. That is so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, have... Do you, okay, so you have the basic, like the basic impersonations that you, or the, uh, the impressions that you do of certain people. Are there any new ones that you've been working on? Yeah, I mean, they're not ready yet, but they're, they're definitely in the crock pot. I was going to ask you if we could get a preview, but they're still marinating in the crock pot. So we got to like let I, I, I'm cooking the bird up slow. Okay, we got to let them get all the juices yeah, fully yeah. Very cool. So this Saturday, no, this Friday and Saturday, it's going down at the Improv, improvkc.com to get your tickets. Now, social media, go ahead and drop your handle so they can follow you. Uh, everything is just my name, Aries Spears. 
uh, Patreon, Instagram, uh, you know, YouTube. Uh, and again, the, the podcast is called Spears and Steinberg, available on all streaming platforms. Well, go to Spearsburg Pod, S P E A R S B E R G P O D, uh, to check that out. And to any new listeners, I would strongly suggest. I know that we're probably going on 400 episodes, but start from the beginning and listen in order. It's like a great book. And if you don't listen in order, you're going to miss a lot of comedic callbacks and jokes that you won't understand. Uh, but you'll catch up quick. It's, my cocaine is strong. You, 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 you're going to binge. My, I'm uncut 100%. Yeah, yo. And we'll get addicted real quick. Yes. Anything else that you're working on? I know the podcast, the app, any new things that we need to look out from you? Uh, that I know of, this is it right now. So, you know, I'm on God's good humor. Amen to that. And we're working on the Emmy and the Oscar. Remember we talked about that? Yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yes. Well, Aries, I appreciate you. Thank you, as usual, for coming through in the Zoom room. I'll see you this weekend, Friday and Saturday, improvkc.com to get your tickets. Well, I can smell you through the phone. You're delicious. I smell good. Bath and Body oh. Works, baby. Oh, the moon in the building. <laughs> Thank you, Aries. I appreciate All right. you. All right, baby. Talk to you later.